Okay, notice of a regular meeting of the City of Friendswood Planning and Zoning Commission to be held Thursday, November 17th, 2016, beginning at 7 p.m. in the Council Chambers located at 910 South Friendswood Drive, Friendswood, Texas. I'd like to call our meeting to order. We'll begin with communications from the public and or committee liaisons. I don't think we have anyone, so uh, we'll let our applicant speak if that's okay, Adam, at, at the point we get to your item. Good, all right. Moving on then to item three, consent agenda approval of the minutes for the meeting held November 7, 2016, our regular meeting. Do I have a motion? Motion to approve. Second. I have a motion to approve and a second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Show it to pass unanimously. Item four, consideration of possible action regarding preliminary plat of Sterling Creek, section three, private subdivision, being 24.9922 acres. Um, I won't read the whole legal. Do I have a motion? Motion to approve. I have a motion to approve. Second. I have a second. Adam, you wanna tell us the adjustments you made? Oh, we just dropped back to the 75 lots. Any discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Thank you. Show it to pass it unanimously. Item five, consideration possible action regarding an amendment to resolution 2010-2009 to change the Planning and Zoning Commission meeting dates from first and third Thursdays to second and fourth Mondays of each month. Do I have a motion? Yeah, we do a motion to discuss. <laughs> I have a motion to discuss. A second. And a second. Tony, tell us uh, your reservations here. I see your head. I just wasn't willing to make a motion, that's all. Oh, okay. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Ron, any uh, thoughts you want to bring to us? No, I think I just want to make sure this, it is this uh, section A is the only revision, correct? Cor and, yes, correct. Okay. Uh, no, I don't have any reservations, um, and and I could do a I could do a Monday, and I understand that this is potentially three Mondays in a month. Yeah. Craig, anything for us? Okay, Rich. So this is just so I'm clear. So this is instead of the Thursdays, we're moving to Mondays. Yeah, and effectively, just to kind of give a summary. What this does is it, it clusters our meetings all on Monday. And if we need an additional meeting, then it'll be on Monday with council. Right. And so you can basically go onto your calendar and just say Mondays are, are my city business days. And when somebody has a Monday thought for you, you just that, that's where you can check and it won't be dancing around back and forth. And so if there is a council meeting, then it'll be three Mondays in a month. That it could be three. But it could, it's just, it could be just three anyway. We'll do Thursday, Thursday, and then a Monday sometime for council. Exactly. So the only difference is we're just moving the Thursdays to Mondays, but nothing else changes, really. Exactly. And, and David, are, are we restricting the Monday, the joint meeting Monday, when we did meet with council? Is that going to be restricted just to joint items? That's a yeah. little broad of this particular item, but... Aubrey, I think you can address that if you like. Yeah, I, this we will restrict the joint public hearing items to just have whatever you know item we have with the council that night will be on that agenda for that night. Um, we'll um, do our submittal schedule such that final plats hopefully won't fall on those Mondays. So we would need to have you know the second Monday meeting in order to meet any 30-day deadlines or anything for plats. So. What's your thinking on uh, availability of materials for a Monday meeting? Thursday? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Any other discussion? City Council I, needs I, just, I have comments Monday. on Monday. First. Okay. Seeing no more discussion, all those in favor say aye. Uh, yeah. Sorry. Uh, excuse me. Yes. Right. So I'll make a motion to approve. Excuse me. Uh, one 
Rich here tonight, and we don't have Sally here tonight, and I'm just wondering if we ought to push this Make off. Sure we're all well, I know, I know Sally is actually the one who proposed this, so I, I feel sure I know where she's at and discussed it with Rich, and uh, he did not uh, have any hesitations with it, although he said, I'm new enough, I don't know that I have formed an opinion one way or the other, but I don't see any apparent conflict for, for myself. So, Which obviously, I mean, their vote won't count, but I think they both expressed... Um, agreement with the change to Mondays so. and, the, and the reason for trying to act now if in fact we're going to do this it takes some time for this order this is actually a rewrite of sorts and this probably doesn't actually show up in in a change format till a, till January well so we have it tentatively scheduled for City Council's meeting on Monday December 5th it's a resolution so it only requires one reading by City Council or one approval so if we make a recommendation tonight, then it'll be on December 5th for council's consideration and we could possibly start January 1 um, with the new schedule. I still don't understand why we're doing this. Well, what's the benefit for it? Aubrey? I, I, I think the idea was just so that all of our meetings could be on Mondays so we don't have to like be here twice in one week. Um, you know, at least if we have to meet again, um, you know, the meetings are at least a week apart. Um, it, the stipulation in this also says that, um, that we only have to meet if we have provided one or more complete applications have been submitted. So if we don't have applications, you know, that require a meeting, then we don't have to have a meeting. But with that in mind, all of our meetings will be on Mondays. So we're not having to move from Thursday to Monday, Thursday to Monday. Um, we were just trying to make it easy on those who travel or, you know, things like that for your scheduling purposes. I think this was kind of a first step in possible, like maybe try this for a few months and see how it works. We also have the option to consider separate public hearings from city council. That requires a change to the zoning ordinance. It's a lot longer process. We have to do, we have to come up with the ordinance change, do a work session, um, JPH and two readings with council to change our ordinance. And, you know, we need to work out how the notices will work um, and those kind of, so there's more details. I think this was kind of a first step, you know, to try to get some relief and then, um, you know, see how it works and then we can explore more options. David. Yes. The, the, my only concern is that when we do do this is that we remove all the confusion for the applicants uh, now that are, showing up in chambers here with the council and then they don't know the p and z meeting is upstairs and then they they miss their items so you know i i think rhonda was kind of going there a second ago uh, we if we're going to do this we really need to look at scaling back that agenda to just the things that are up for the jph and and that would be the goal but like the our last Monday meeting, we had a 30 day, fi like final plats, we have 30 day time frame, you know, time limits on. So we had to put a final plat on the last one because, you know, we were going to be past our 30 days. So, like I said, if we have that, you know, if we have to meet with council, then, you know, we can schedule, do our submittal schedule to where everything falls, the 30 days falls within the second and fourth Mondays. Um, so we won't have plats on those Monday meetings with council. And, and to speak to the, uh, the issue of the joint public hearings, you know, I think one of the, the things, and I really believe that's what got us thinking about how we might could improve, uh, you know, last meeting was a good example of where we've got an applicant, you know, that's sitting with us. Um, you know, we've got folks stepping back saying, are y'all done, are you done? And nothing wrong with that. I understand, you know, their desire to get on out of, out of chambers as well, but you know, when we get hurried, uh, that's where I see us, you know, not do our best work. And so I, I think that uh, there'll be consideration, you know, after the fact on that as well. But this is, a, like Aubrey said, a first good step for us, so. Any other discussion? Would you like me to amend my motion to discuss to a motion to approve? <laughs> we have a motion to approve. It just doesn't have a second. Okay. 
I second it. Okay. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Show it to pass three to two. Or no. three. No, it's only three. Didn't pass. No. Okay. All right. Okay. It did or did not pass? Did not pass. Aubrey, go over that rule for us, if you would. Uh, in order for anything, right. a motion to pass, it has it's uh, four positive votes, not right. a simple majority. I got you. Okay, item six, consideration possible action regarding future planning and zoning commission meeting dates. Aubrey. Uh, so our next meeting um, is with city council. I think we discussed it at the last one to move our uh, December 1st meeting to the 5th. Um, we do have a zone change item um, that came up, so um, we'll have a joint public hearing and possible first reading, or recommendation um, for council to have possible first reading. Um, we are not gonna have the work session and items for the large retail um, for December, so it'll just be that um, the zone change application for December 5th. And then the second meeting for December is the 15th. And that starts at seven, both of them start at seven? Yes. Mm -hmm. the the Item seven, communications from the commission. Anything for us, Rich? No. No, sir. No, KFC is off this month, so nothing. Okay. And I had uh, Aubrey, you might have seen your email today, send y'all, uh, there was a uh, timely article in the Chronicle regards to some issues they're dealing with up in Montrose after the fact in, in regards to uh, some things that, uh, you know, will be before us in, in time. So anyway, I really highly encourage reading that article. It, you know, these issues are easier to settle in advance. The after fact, aftermath is, is a really difficult place to fix, fix them. So um, please read that. Okay, reports, Steve? Nothing. Okay. Uh, Aubrey? Uh, I don't have anything, just everybody have a happy Thanksgiving. Okay. Okay. All right, we stand adjourned.